Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the NRSV Thin Line Bible. So this is a large print thin line. It's in their new comfort print, which is unique to the NRSV. It's got a lay flat binding, comes in this nice sleeve. I like their design on that. So just a sleeve, but I'll hold this right here so you can read that. It talks about being easy to read and easy to carry, and they are absolutely correct on that. There's some of the features, the biggest one being a 12.4 font size, which is really, really easy to read. We've got an example of the font size there. There's our ISBN number, retail is $39.99. At the time that I'm filming this video, you can get one of these for around just under $26 right now, which is a great buy. If you like this translation, or if you don't have one and you wanna add it to your library, this is a really nice Bible and it's a perfect rebind candidate. This one here measures out at nine and five eighths inches tall by six and five eighths inches wide. And it's just seven eighths of an inch thick. So we've got nice head and tail bands, really pretty silver gilding. And you can kind of see the signatures there, but the gilding, they did a great job with it. It's got a curved book block. It is just a bonded leather, but it's actually pretty flexible for a bonded. But the text block is the main thing in this that's really nice. So on the spine, we've got the just the silver lines, Holy Bible, NRSV, and Zondervan. But really nice and portable. But super, super readable. So we've got a paper paste down liner. Paper kind of has a nice design on it. Nice presentation page. And then we're going to get right into our title pages. The NRSV was done in 1989, and one thing that you can see right here already is how bold the print in this one is. So really, really readable. So here's a To the Reader, which talks about this translation. This section here kind of gives it in a nutshell as far as the NRSV is an authorized revision of the RSV published in 1952, which was a revision of the ASV, published in 1901, which in turn embodied earlier revisions of the KJV, published in 1611. This translation just really, really flows, and the more I read from it, the more I like it. All right, so we can see we've got a double column format. This Bible doesn't have any references or anything, but any of the translation notes are gonna be down here at the bottom. So there's nothing at all to clutter the text. I like the little line that they've got under Genesis there. But a 12.4 font, and it's really, really easy to see. Great to read from. Everything that I've checked on this one does show that it's line matched. So the only thing that's kind of different in this one, and I'm gonna to try to find a little bit easier page to hold and show you. The only thing that's kind of different on this text is their lowercase g's. So as we can see right here on that one, and then here. So kind of a little different in the design that they did that. It almost makes it seem like the bottom of it is cut off there but still a cool font and it is unique to the NRSV that's just one thing that I seen that was kind of interesting I didn't notice anything else on any other letters this one does have two ribbons we've got a silver this one is a single satin and we've also got a black as well so the colors of the ribbons look really nice against the gilding and against the head and tail bands The paper in this one, I'm not sure what the GSM on the paper is, but it's got a really nice feel to it. And it's just super, super easy to read. It's not overly floppy. So if you're holding it in one hand to read it, you don't feel like it's gonna flip out of your hand. It is just black letter. So here's some of the poetry sections if you wanna kinda see how that is. So in the poetry sections, you're going to see some ghosting, but in the regular areas where it's pretty much just all text, 
you're not going to have any distractions at all. Super nice to read from. I picked it up the other day and figured I'd read a chapter or two and ended up reading 13 chapters and I just didn't want to put it down. I finally had to just go to bed. So the text, the, the translation just really, really flows really well. So if you don't have an NRSV, I would definitely recommend getting one of these, adding it to your collection. It's a really nice text block. It's going to be the same physical size as the NIV large print thin line in the Premier Collection. So this one will have a one year reading plan. It'll have all the little boxes for you to check those off as you read each one. So and it does say that if you're reading it for the first time, begin by reading the Gospel of Mark or the Gospel of John. And then after reading one of those Gospels, read the book of Acts or the book of Romans. And then after reading one of those, pick an Old Testament book like Genesis or Psalms. And then it gives you the, if you wanted to read it in a year versus if you wanted to read it in two years. So it give, does give you some options, so that's nice. All right, so we do have some extra features in the back. So we're going to have the miracles of Jesus. We've also got the parables of Jesus. So this kind of, in a way, is kind of like a uh, harmony of the Gospels because it's going to give you... A lot of that same information that's in the harmonies. These are neat because this has perspectives from the Bible. So we've got what to read and when. And all of these different topics, if you read those as I'm panning down, you'll see that those are all things that we all deal with on a regular basis. So lots of good stuff on there. So that can be really helpful. Especially if you gave this Bible to maybe a new believer and they're not familiar with the Bible yet. We've got a page of prayers of the Bible. So we've got prayers of the Old Testament. We've got some prayers from the Psalms. There's also some from the prophets, the prayers of Jesus, ones from the New Testament as well as prayers of Paul. So even though this is a really thin and portable Bible, you do have some of these nice features in the back. So we've got the promises of the Bible. God's promise when you feel guilty, feel dejected, despair, disappointed. So a lot of relevant stuff there. I don't know why I'm having a hard time grabbing these pages today. Then we do have a few pages for notes. So you can see that it is got the lined paper there. So a few pages. And then we've got a note regarding the typeface, which is done by 2K Denmark. So what's neat with their comfort print is there's one that's for the New King James. There's this one here for the NRSV. And then the one for the NIV, they're all different fonts, which is pretty neat that they're all unique to each Bible. But this is a really nice Bible, even though it's just a bonded leather. The cover actually feels pretty decent, but the text block itself is the nicest thing. So this would be why you would want to get this Bible, would be because of the text block. Nice, bold print, easy to read, great size to take with you. And if you've never read the NRSV, this would be a good one to get and check it out because you'd have a really nice text block be able to get it for right around $26. And there will be a link in the description box. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.